Well, the other day I collected up a whole bunch of grass clippings from when I mowed with the bush hog. Because I've been planting this for a little while. I scooped out, I raked up and scooped out their run. Got all that nice fertilizer out of here. And I put a lot of grass clippings in here earlier in the year too. And maybe just mangled them down to where it looked like dirt. So I put down a nice thick layer in here today. I had a big pile sitting over here. You can kind of see where it was. I put a nice big pile in there. I had to go buy a rake. My daughter ran over the other one. But look at all that wonderful fertilizer I got to put on the compost pile. That ought to make for a better garden next year for sure. The feathers are good to turn into a lot of nitrogen too. They just take a little longer to break down than poop does. You can see, I didn't spend a whole lot of time spreading it out. But they'll like that dust bath right there, and they'll make new dust baths too as they move this around. I give it six weeks. You don't know there was ever grass clippings in there. The way they just shred through them and tear through them. But I let them dry three or four days, so hopefully they won't try eating them. That could, that could be bad if they try eating them. And I got new clippings for the inside too. I might be just as well to get that done today while we're at it. Anyway, I got the chickens some new bedding down, soak up all their poo. Got me a nice bucket load of fertilizer there. Got to go over and split a little bit more wood, the stack that I forgot I had. The kids got most of it stacked the other day. So that's where I'm starting at today. Got lots of odds and ends to do, but I got the chicken pen all cleaned up and redone with new hay in the bottom. This in here I'm trying to make a heavy pack, you know, where they where they do it extra thick so that it doesn't smell. And I put a half a bag of wood chips in here. It hasn't been that long. It's only been four weeks, six weeks maybe, since I put this new in here. So I shouldn't need to worry about that. Let's see if we got any eggs. Nope, no eggs. It's coming close though. They're starting to get some nice red combs on them. The hens are. And pigs aren't getting out anytime soon. That was 14.3 thousand volts running through that wire. That usually keeps them away from the fence. I don't have to worry about them running off. You can see where I got a lot of mowing done last week. A lot of bush hogging, went around the edges. That way in case I don't get around to mowing this whole field this year, because there's just so many rocks, I gotta go so slow. Next spring I can burn it off and then mark those rocks so I don't have to go as slow. But I got it mowed quite a bit back in June, and now we're in another burn band. It's kind of dangerous to go out there with the mower. You could light the whole world on fire if you hit make one spark hitting one rock. So I probably won't do that. It's looking like Monday. Monday we're going to start doing this. We're going to get the roof put on there. I'm going to go with metal all the way from this gable end all the way down. We're going to do a gable end instead of a instead of a hip roof on that end. Just run metal straight on out. And then this up here will be the only hip roof. And then once I get them insulated, we're good to go. And I sold my little white trailer over there. As soon as we get the roof done, I take the rest of the wood out of that trailer. I can put it in the basement then. It'll stay dry. That little trailer is going to pay for most of the labor to get the roof done. Ah, there's sausage and bacon. You know what they're waiting for? Look at them over there, patiently waiting. They're watching me. You know what they want? Those. They love those fresh acorns off this giant white oak tree here. And it drops a few in there for them, but most of them land out here. There's acorns everywhere on the on the ground out here. I don't know if you can see that, but they're just everywhere. Thousands of them. And we keep raking them up and giving them to them. They love them. Picked up some corn this morning for eight dollars and sixty cents a fifty pound bag, which by today's standards is cheap. October of 2022. Usually corn's about ten bucks. 
you can get their high protein feed with all the minerals added for 1150 so I just get the feed but 860 yeah I got a dozen bags that should fatten them up and finish them off that and these acorns so sausage your first because you're bigger and you're meaner and you're dumber I don't know if my wife will eat bacon she's kind of taking a liking to him I might have to sell him anyway got this little project done I'm gonna go do that little project and I'll probably start on another project all kinds of projects around here farms been neglected for over a decade there's always something to do I just wish I was 25 years younger and five times richer but we can't have everything can we I'd like to thank everybody for watching thank you Daryl leave us a comment Daryl thank you so much for everybody watching hopefully you've watched all the way here to the end please give us a thumbs up that helps us to get more more views and build the channel maybe one day I could make a buck off of it that'd really be nice so subscribe if you haven't and thanks again